Hey, what's up? So in this video, we're going to talk about developing a website locally on your machine rather than developing on the live site and FTPing all of our changes up to the live site to view them. If you don't know what developing locally means, then stick around. If you're more advanced, then you may want to skip forwards. This is part of a series. I've left a link to the playlist in the video description. So what do we mean by developing locally and developing remotely on the live site? Well, locally just basically means using your laptop as a web server. Remotely, think of it as a remote control, so you're controlling something from another location. Why is developing locally so important? Why should you be considering this? Well, for one, it's going to make your workflow a lot quicker. When you make a change in the CSS, rather than FTPing it up the wire to look at the change, you can save it and boom, you can view it there in your browser. So it's going to speed up your workflow. The other reason why it's so important is imagine that you've built the website, it's now live, and the client wants you to build out a new feature. If you're building out that feature on the live site, then when customers go to the site, they're going to see weird stuff moving around that's not quite working because you're going to need to debug it as well when you build out a new feature and you do that testing and that debugging locally. You don't do the debugging on the live website. So if you want to be a if you want to do this professional professionally then you need to be developing locally. So how do you get started? Well, you need to create a local web server on your machine. And to do that, you need a web development stack. What's a web development stack? It's basically a collection of software and tools that are required to build and run a website. LAMP is the most common of stacks. And that's basically made up of an operating system, a web server, a database, and a programming language. So if you're a beginner, LAMP is generally going to give you everything that you need. There are other stacks. There's MongoDB, sorry, the mean stack, which is MongoDB, Express.js, AngularJS, and Node.js. There's the MERN stack, which is the same thing, but we're swapping out Angular for React. So which stack you use is going to depend upon the complexity of the project. So if you just want to get up and running, the quickest way to do that if you're on a Windows is going to be with WAMP. If you're on a Mac, then you can go with something like MAMP. Yes, there are many ways to achieve it. Those are just two recommendations that I've found are most common and the quickest way to get up and running. So the more experience you gain within development, you're going to come it, you're going to hear about things like VirtualBox and Vagrant. And they allow you to achieve a one-to-one -one copy between your local development environment and your live server. And that can come into play when you're developing large enterprise level projects. But other than that, you really don't need this. By using things like this, you're introducing a lot of unnecessary complexity. Now, I've been down this path and I actually got it all working, but I'd run into errors from time to time, uh, Windows 10 errors, which may very well have been patched by now. But again, you don't need that level of complexity. If you are working on, a, on an enterprise level project, chances are it's going to have a budget big enough to have its own DevOps developer. And if you want to be a DevOps developer, by all means, check it out, play with it and go down that journey. But other than that, you really don't need it. Now, as I said, I went down that path. Reason being, when I was doing WordPress development, I'm developing on a Windows, and I'd run into this uh, mixed case table names issue. I'll talk about that when we get to the WordPress part of this tutorial series. So I would recommend to get up and running, I'd recommend either bitnami.com 
or you can try out serverpress.com and they'll allow you to uh, set up um, a WAMP or a MAMP stack on your computer. If you want to know more about this whole topic of workflow, I'd recommend this video by Chris Koya. He's a great guy. He's got a great delivery, keeps it fun, fresh and interesting. It's an old video. It's almost five years old, but the basic principles are the same. Yes, the tooling may have changed a little bit, but the concepts are the same. He goes into pre-processors, browser testing, version control, which I'm, I'm going to talk about in um, an upcoming video. So I'll leave a link to that in the video description. I hope you got something from this. In the next video, I'm going to be setting up my project on my local laptop. Then I'm going to set it up on the live server. Until then, I'll catch you next time. Peace. Before you go, I just want to let you know about Team Treehouse. It's where I'm learning JavaScript right now. They'll take you from beginner level all the way to professional from HTML, CSS, and then on to JavaScript if you want, or Python, PHE, PHP. They've got pretty much everything here, man. Look at this, C Sharp, Android, iOS. Um, I actually built an iPhone app with the help of Team Treehouse. I'm currently doing their full stack JavaScript track. So uh, for $25 per month, you get all of those tracks on there. So uh, go have a look, see what you think. They've got tech degrees as well, which I think is a good alternative to a boot camp. If you don't want to spend a whole heap of money on a boot camp, have a look at the tech degree. There's a free trial, so you've nothing to lose by trying it out. I've left my affiliate link in the video description below. So please, if you're going to sign up, use my link. It helps to support what I'm doing here on YouTube. I'm documenting my learning journey over on my website. I'll leave that link in the video description as well. This goes all the way back to 2015. There are gaps where I was just so busy I wasn't coming back to doc document it, but I, I will be from now on. I've made a promise to myself. Anyway, thanks for watching the video and thanks for supporting what I do. Catch you on the next one. Peace.